wherever women are diminished. The entire world is diminished with them says Malaya as she re-emerges to attend International Women of Courage ceremony at the State Department. First Lady Melania Trump made a rare public appearance today at the State Department at an event honoring International Women of Courage. I am deeply humbled to be here today to honor these 12 remarkable and inspirational women, who have given so much for so many, regardless of the unimaginable threat to their own personal safety. Among the honorees were women from Iraq, Yemen, Syria and Turkey. Together, we must declare that the era of allowing the brutality against women and children is over while affirming that the time for empowering women around the world is now," the First Lady said. For wherever women are diminished, the entire world is diminished with them. However, wherever women are empowered, towns and villages, schools and economies are empowered, and together we are all made stronger with them," she continued. Melania Trump talked about some of the horrors the honorees have faced, domestic abuse, gender bias, violence, terrorism, war, corruption and government oppression. Let us try to envision ourselves in their place struggling with gender bias and discriminatory laws, which serves to protect the perpetrators of unthinkable crimes, while punishing their victims should they even dare to speak out," the FLOTU said. She was introduced at the event at State by Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs Thomas A. Shannon who brought up a number of her charitable causes, while noting that she planned to take on the issue of cyberbullying as First Lady. Besides bringing up the issue at an event outside of Philadelphia directly before the election, Melania Trump has yet to make any moves to signal that she plans to still make cyberbullying her cause. State would absorb major budget cuts to its program under President Trump's budget. Funding would be cut by 29 percent, second only to the EPA in reductions it would absorb, the award is in its 11th year. It has recognized 100 women, and is meant to showcase and support a group of women who put their personal safety and sometimes lives at risk in order to help improve their communities, according to the White House. The presentation of an award can send a political message. In 2014, First Lady Michelle Obama was there to award Eurovision singer Ruslan Elizachko of Ukraine. She is a civil society activist human rights advocate and a leader of Ukraine's Maidan movement for democratic reform. The U.S. imposed sanctions on Russia in 2014 for its invasion of Ukraine. At Tuesday night's event at the White House with senators, the First Lady brought her flair for style to the event. It appeared the First Lady was wearing a $2,390 Whistler stretch crepe dress designed by Roland Moret. She issued a statement saying she plans to continue hosting lawmakers.